uh, Nelson Makamo. I was born in in Nelson. It's a small town in a province called Limpopo, which is the north part of South Africa. Being a creative, a child can be creative as as early as when they they start moving their hands. You know, feeling. I think you know, discovering light, line, color, and all of those things. I think that's just how it is. And I think like any other thing that is driven by passion, passion will guide you. And I think for me, that's just how my journey is. You know, like for me to summarize it, to say yeah, how did I even find myself where I am today was because of my passion. Passion is one thing that has actually led me to be where I am today. I am, I'm in Mayfe, Gallery of African Art, opening my solo exhibition titled The Souls of Azania. That is why I'm here in London. My name is Baba Jalal, and I'm the chairman of EMC3, and I am with... Scott Maslin, a reprobate and a, a, an, a, an actor. <laughs> a great actor as well. <laughs> and we are here tonight at Nelson Macamo's exhibition, art exhibition, here at Gafra, which is the Gallery of African Art in Mayfair. And what a fantastic artist we're showing, actually. Amazing stuff. When Bab showed me the stuff, absolutely made up by it, and um, I'm, I'm, it's great to support you know, talent like that. And you look at what Nelson's done. He's done portraits of Oliver Tambo, Nelson Mandela. But these people, no one knows who they are. But you have a reflection, especially me as a Nigerian. I can see a reflection of my auntie, my uncle, my brother, my sister in it. And I think that's what he brings, the effervescence of colour. And diversity, like you said. You know, within Africa there's so much diversity as well. Come down. Very much Come so. Come down and buy it. Buy it. <laughs> buy it. Exactly. My name is Simon Frederick. I'm an artist and filmmaker. I'm the director and creator of uh, BBC Two's Black is the New Black. So we're at the uh, Gallery of African Art uh, for Nelson's show. Um, I'm loving his work. You know, the, the piece that's directly behind me on the wall, uh, the blue piece, the portrait with the guy with the glasses, I love it. I think it's uh, the center point of the, of the whole show. You know. It's an accessible show, it's beautiful work, and they should come and support. The only way that our art is going to get out there is by the support of people, by people coming down, seeing the art, sharing the art on social media, talking about it at their dinner tables. That's what's going to get art, you know, uh, known by, by other people. Same way as our music is known by other audiences, our art will be known if we talk about it. Visually, it's, it's portrait of individuals. Uh, individuals that I, I don't know, that I don't have any relationship of. Individuals that I've seen from a distance. And I think that's also one thing that has always been the number one thing about my work is that capturing individuals that I don't know of, but interpreting them in a way that as if I have had one-on-one -on -one with. And that's just, that was just how I sort of approached the whole exhibition, is that all the subject that you see in all these works is individuals that I've never had any personal relation with but they are all souls of Azania. It's a reference of a um, portrait of individuals that I've seen from all those countries that still fall within the southern part of Africa. So that's how the soul of Azania was. I, I, I don't have a specific formula in terms of how I make work. I, I just get in and I just sort of shut myself like I shut the rest of the world out. Only communication and interaction that I'm gonna have it, it will be with charcoal canvas paint uh, watercolor so all of those within that space that's exactly how actually it, it's, it's such an interesting way of working but it makes it difficult because I can't work when other people are around pretty much more than anything else I've, I've never given myself a second option this is the only thing that I, I, I feel that I'm good at it. And sometimes good is not enough. Is that you, you, you have to look at what you're doing and say, how do, I, how do I become unique? How do I use this as a voice to communicate with, us, with, with others? That they will be able to recognize my voice from a distance. It's like music. 
without even knowing or seeing the picture of the artist you can easily pick it up oh that's so and so because they they have something unique to actually offer Thank you.